Hello! Uh, hi there! It's me, it's Dave, or the Jaded Rabbit. Uh, God bless you, my friends! Uh, thank you for finding some time in your day to join me for a guide on Street Fighter Six. I have played the Bejesus Out of the World Tour mode, and I would like to share my experiences with grinding this game to achieve max bond affinity with every single master. You would want to do this in the game for every single character on the roster, because it actually unlocks a unique outfit to use in a full set of 10 different colors so contrast that with the regular default costume that you get in the game you can only get two colors just by playing the game if you want additional colors you're gonna have to spend drive tickets or fighter coins to unlock the other colors but costume number two which you can obtain from the world tour mode by maxing out the bond with every master you get so many different colors which is really cool i think these outfits some of these outfits may be the best iteration that we've seen i really love cami not sure about ryu i I like the classic design of it all. However, there's something alluring about this new design for Ryu. I also really like the facial hair as opposed to the lack of facial hair. But this is something that the devs have really put some time into. I like that they're giving us not only different outfits, but also different face models, which is really cool. So in this video, we are going to be exploring ways on how to get the different gift items for the various masters for free. You could be spending coin to purchase the gifts outright from merchants but that requires accumulation of wealth in the game which may be difficult to come by so these merchants along the way you can really purchase different gift items from different merchants um here you can buy lukewarm beer for DJ. DJ coincidentally enjoys lukewarm beer. However, I would recommend purchasing very few of these unique gift items because you can obtain many of these gift items for free. <laughs> I think Brazil is a really great um, place to begin our journey because you can get some free items here, canned herring, lukewarm beer, by completing the different battle challenges the different battle challenges will give you free gift items and these gift items are significant very significant so let's take a look uh, at the bond so uh, you need a hundred bond in order to obtain costume number two that would equate to 20 of the unique gift items to give to each master. If you give the proper item to the proper master, you will get a plus five in bond. Do keep in mind though, as you rank up the style for each master, you can get anywhere between 20 to 50 extra bond affinities if you are answering the dialogue properly to their um, pleasing, if you beat them in the matches that you have with them, you will get plus 10 for a win, plus 5 for a positive dialogue interaction. Some of those dialogue interactions, you can actually get plus 8. So there's a lot of extra bond affinity that you can pick up along the way on raising the style of every single master so do keep that in mind when you're grinding to try and obtain those fancy items to give to dj blanca etc um these items you would probably need about 10 10 would give you 50 bond affinity and if you do everything perfectly you can get that 
other 50 just from normal interactions with uh, raising your style level. M but as you can see here, I have a, uh, quite a number of these gift items. That is because many of these you can actually obtain from the overworld via those battle conditions that you're seeing here. So Loan and Nelio, these are important people to remember because they will give you jelly deal, lukewarm beer, and canned herring very easily. That's three items right Right away for the whole set of 18 canned herring is enjoyed or rather d disgusted by Chun-Li. Chun-Li hates canned herring apparently. Questionable really <laughs> really questionable that the gifts that you're giving the masters are things that they don't particularly enjoy. Um, same goes for Cammy. so her favorite item is jellied eel so you can get the jellied eel, uh, jellied eel and canned herring really easily here in Brazil. I think that's important to note and we're going to be taking a look at all of the different locations that you can really acquire these items for free. So let's start off in Metro City right in Beat Square. Um, I would say the first area that you would want to think about grinding in Metro City would be applicable for Jamie and JP. Jamie enjoys Bow Bow stickers, <laughs> Bow Bow Guy stickers, and JP enjoys antique playing cards. So let's just uh, check our map here. Yes, so, oh, I guess we could have uh, gone to Hong, Hong Hu Men area. Okay, so yes, starting near Chinatown, you'll want to take this um, road here. This road here, specifically. This is where you'll find both Bao Bao stickers for Jamie and antique playing cards for JP. So Bow Bow Bro sticker, as you can see from Jeremy. And what's good is that you, these like NPCs, they refresh quite regularly. Oh look, antique playing cards. So we found both of them really quickly. So you would want to come to this street, run up and down this street, and fight anyone who has a fancy gift. Do this 10 times, and you should have 10 or more, <laughs> you know, take your time. But you should be able to acquire all of the necessary gifts for JP and Jamie very easily. Contrast that with, um, like here you're seeing Bow Bow Bro sticker. And these battle conditions are very easy. Um, defeat opponent with active buff. Yeah, that's that's very easy. So yeah, we're not talking about how to complete the battle conditions. We're just talking about where to go to get these free gift items. Bow Bow Bro sticker. Antique playing cards. So the antique playing cards are only available on this street. And you're going to want to run down the sidewalk. Because this is where you'll find the people. If you get the people into the middle of the road for a match at the end of the match some of the npcs will despawn so that's kind of counterproductive to the process but as you can see there are some destroyables along the way it's a good idea to pop those two because you can get the items that are not like unique specific for a, a master you can get the generic ones so the generic gifts are the purple backgrounds these super rarity generic items can be given to any master some will give you plus two some will give you plus one it depends like JP enjoys psycho charge um, Kimberly enjoys double KO gim, uh, gum but that's only plus two and if you give the wrong thing to the wrong person, you'll get only plus one. Um, yeah, so it's a good idea to try and pick those up along the way because unfortunately this strategy of grinding a certain location to get some of those gifts 
it goes only so far because there are some items that you won't be able to get in this method. Um, Bow Bow Bro stickers are also available on this street too. But since antique playing cards are not here as well, you might just want to stick to that one street. By Hong Wu Men area, you'll get Jamie and JP done pretty quick. So, uh, let's see. We did Jamie. Um, let's do... Uh, oh, let's go... Here we go. West Bay Promenade. So West Bay Promenade is another great place because you can actually get two Masters gift items in one location. So here you can see Wrench. Wrench is really good for Jury. Jury enjoys the Wrench. Um, it, I would also recommend doing this while you're still leveling up your styles. Um, because the battle conditions will require you to use different masters. So it's a good idea to knock out a couple of things with one stone. Two birds with one stone. Here you can get the gift item and get style XP. Or if, like, you, you'll you probably need to get the style XP before the profile XP. But yes, uh, working towards both of those things at the same time, really good. So just the same strategy as the other road. You're going to want to run up and down on the sidewalks and see if you can find people with some gifts. Okay, so also here, celery chips. So this is good for Lily. Lily enjoys celery chips. Jury enjoys a wrench. So just make the circuit a couple of times. Hopefully you come across those gift items pretty quickly. But another thing to keep in mind... Oh, look, another wrench. One thing to keep in mind is that while you're doing this, it's a good idea to have one particular skill unlocked scrounger you can acquire this pretty early on it increases the chance of encountering rare items from battle conditions from these random npcs so without scrounger it would be a little harder to find this wrench dropping or the celery chips but really a great place to get these particular gift items all right, so let's go back to the map. We're going to have to change it to nighttime. Daytime, you're going to get Jamie, JP, Lily, and Jury. And then you're going to want to change it to nighttime. So nighttime, we're going to be doing similar strategy, different locations, different items. So, one area here that you could grind, although I don't really recommend it, <laughs> because it's it's not exactly um, easy to find enough people here during night. More often, you'll find these guys who are just, like, no-name people. But at nighttime, in front of the benches, there are people who drop lots of gift items. Ah, maybe we should just just kill these guys. <laughs> Let's just kill them. So, unfortunately, um, in order to get some gift items, you're going to have to kill the um, gangs that will be there. They will despawn, and then regular NPCs will fill their place. Okay, so more gift items, as you can see. They're the super variety, not the not the fancy ones. Let's see. Uh, double KO gum. <laughs> not getting, not getting um, anything other than the supers. But this is how you can get a lot of those super gifts for free as well. Just this little bridge area. Pretty good grinding spot to get lots of those purples. And for some of those, for some characters, it would be wise to, to stock up on them because characters like Manon 
her favorite item is Beaujolais, and there is no place in the overworld where Beaujolais drops. The same goes for rubber duckies, at least in a consistent manner. And if I'm incorrect, please do correct me. I think this is very exciting to be sharing the knowledge about this game. But yeah, Beaujolais and rubber duckies for E Honda, I find them very hard to acquire, so it would probably be best to either purchase those things from their respective vendors uh jamaica for beaujolais or russia for rubber duckies um you might want to purchase those there and then give them to the characters or stock up on the purple items and give them the fancy items but in this small little area you could also come across um uh, <laughs> we're not we're not finding it which is unfortunate it is kind of hard to get but it's the item for dalsim the ultra mild instant curry i have come across ultra mild um instant curry here but yeah kind of a rare drop and there's probably a better location for getting that stuff so, yes, this bridge area, just that beginning part, it's really good for getting gift items. Another place is West Bay Promenade at night. Now, West Bay uh, uh, Promenade during the day, you're able to get the celery chips and the, um, the wrench... The wrench for jury, the celery chips for Lily. But here you can find cold tomato soup. So cold tomato soup is good for Marissa. Same location, just at night. Same strategy, run up and down the sidewalks. Um, you might have to clear out these gangs to get more NPCs to appear. <laughs> LOL. Not that the drone is giving me um cold tomato soup. I can't complete the battle condition though. <laughs> Not that he did so much damage. Stupid drone. All right. So yes, uh, this sidewalks, these sidewalks are very good for finding cold tomato soup. And then over towards this side. We should be able to find instant soba, hopefully. Oh, here we go. Instant soba. Defeat the opponent with an active buff. And you can see purple gift items as well. You can get lots of these gift items very easily. So instant soba, good for Ryu. Cold tomato soup, good for Marissa. So that's a lot of characters that we've already already touched on. So we've got Jamie, we've got Manon, Marissa, Lily, JP, Jury, DJ, Cami, Chun Li. Uh, these are all really uh, really easy locations to get stuff. For them for free. The other places are going to be on uh, other parts of the map. So we're going to have to travel. I think notably the other place that you would want to always travel to is the Thunderfoot Settlement in Mexico. This is where you're going to get a wooden bear with every visit. Sometimes you may get Jelly Deal in Brazil. Sometimes not. But I find that wooden bear is always there in Mexico. Comes from this one. Anna, defeat with a special move. Always the same battle challenge requirement too. So you can get your max bond affinity for Zangief from here. Pretty cool. Alright, so let's go to Nashal. Yes. Uh, let's see. South area, East Alley. Yes. So the Old Nashal, once again, it's going to be like the same idea as Metro City. The different locations during the day and the night, they're going to be giving different items. So this is really like a good encouragement to go out and explore um, every area that you can it's really uh entertaining so okay so this is this little area before 
you get to the island of Old Nashal. You might have to clear out these guys. The gang is not helpful for the process. But in this little alley, you can find... You can find... Um, cookbooks to give to Ken. So this is the little alley, this little area is where you would want to be to try and get a gift for him. So let's see if we can find one. Uh... Oh, there's money. Oh, this one's giving lots of money. <laughs> Do you see this? So yes, this area is really good for money too. But we're looking for... Ken. Ken item. Bronze nugget. As you can see, it's not an exact science. You kind of have to run around and get like some NPCs to spawn. <laughs> Where are the NPCs? Hmm, really curious. Ah, what? They weren't there, but then they just appeared. <laughs> That's really strange. Okay, so here we go. Cookbook. Perform one drive rush. This little alley, specifically. This is where you're going to want to be to get um cookbooks for Ken. Can't find another cookbook. <laughs> Pretty tough, because it's one little tiny area. And as you can see, there's like some errors with how the game wants to render these NPCs. Okay, another cookbook. Didn't say the challenges were going to be easy, but <laughs> this is how you get it. Ten cookbooks. I would recommend another cookbook here. Yeah, okay. So now there's lots of cookbooks popping in. So yeah, you just have to run in and out of the area. If you find opponents not giving you the thing that you want, just... Keep in mind, you can cycle the NPCs through. So that is the cookbook for Ken. The other area you would want to grind is the Lowland Commerce Plaza. Not specifically in the plaza, but this area just here. You can find people that give you natto. <laughs> I like that he's right there already prepared. But once again, same strategy. Just kind of like run in and out of the area looking for NPCs that are giving you um, Natto. But this is, uh, this is the uh, item for Guile. Pretty easy to find... If you have the time, <laughs> you do kind of have to run around. But yes, the so Natto exists here. You might have to clear out some of the baddies, but also Natto should be available in this area too. If you're lucky and you can find it on some NPC just chilling in the area. Hmm. <laughs> Darn, no Natto. Okay, all right. So, yeah, so this is the, the general area, though, that you would want to explore for Guile. Now, the other area is very tiny, but it offers different drops. And it's the area... Uh, it's the area right behind the vending stalls. So, going over here you can drop items <laughs> very infrequently because it is such a small area and you might have to clear out these guys. <laughs> Stop throwing your melons at me. <laughs> okay, let's get <laughs> let's get DJ to help.
Wow. <laughs> the fridge is so deadly. DJ, do something. Kill him. <laughs> But yes, this little small area can give you items for Kimberly and Blanca. So here you can see <laughs> this NPC is actually giving you stuff for Kimberly and Blanca in one battle. So the answer lies in the heart of love is some rom-com DVD that is appreciated by Kimberly. Knock off Blanca Chan doll you can get here for Blanca. He really enjoys little dolls of himself. But as you can see, it's such a small area and you're going to have to like really uh, abuse the strategy of like running out, running in resetting the npcs to try and get those gift items <laughs> and keep in mind sometimes they'll just disappear oh look we got another knockoff blanca chan doll so yeah clear out the fridges and then you should be able to get stuff for both kimberly and blanca all right so let's change this to night Knight is going to offer you different items. And I wouldn't say worry so much about getting lukewarm beer early on. You don't really need lukewarm beer. Because you can get tons of it when you get to Nashal. In the early game, you don't really need it. But basically, everyone in the Central Bazaar will offer you lukewarm beer. Or maybe not. Here we go. Lukewarm beer. Defeat with 80% more vitality. This is also a, a really great place to get the Spartan helmet. One of the best helmets in the game. Yes. <laughs> Do think about grinding this area for a DJ. As well as for fancy builds. Because the Spartan helmet, really good. But yeah, lots of lukewarm beers that you can get very quickly, very easily. The other area, too, if you didn't get enough of Bow Bow Bro stickers, you can get Bow Bow Bro stickers in this little area where your um, hangout is. Also, lots of gift items that you can give to other people. Yeah, see, Bow Bow Bro sticker. This little area here will give you lots of Bow Bow Bro stickers, which is <laughs> crazy very crazy although i would recommend grinding the place in in metro city near the um near chinatown north of chinatown because this is going to give you not only bow bow bro sticker but also antique playing cards for jp um the next little area that you would want to grind just here <laughs> it's so tiny you might have to clear out some thugs so let's clear out these thugs it's such a tiny little space but it's the area right by the train track in between the bazaar and the path that goes up to mount vachel let's see if we can f find someone oh here we go Red Elevator 8. So this little area here, just here, is the one place where you can really get Red Elevator 8 all of the time. Now, Red Elevator 8 could also be obtained from the bridge at nighttime in Metro City. We were there earlier, where you could get lots of generic gift items. But if you want specifically Red Elevator 8 for Luke... This is where you would need to come. Oh, and even the bad guys are dropping Red Elevator 8 as well. Yeah, we got the Red Elevator 8. <laughs> so yeah, this is um such a tiny location to where you can get that stuff. But if you don't want to spend the coin and you would rather have a battle... This is this is the prime location for it. Let's see. Oh look, <laughs> knock off Blanca Chan doll as well. So you can get um knock off Blanca Chan doll here as well too. There's a lot of places where you can get these things in multiple 
spots. But um, I would say this is why you would probably want to just fight people to get the items as opposed to buying them. Because as you can see, like I have 10 of these knockoff Blanca Chayan dolls. I don't know how I got them. Lukewarm beer. We just It's just been accumulating. <laughs> I'm a hoarder. All right. So the next little area where you can do some real grinding is the um, foot foothills the paths leading up to mount of Vachel, you can run across in this little area instant curry ultra mild once again you might have to fight the bad guys to get the npcs to spawn <laughs> Look at my character. It's just... It's like an apparition. Very, very um, colorful. But uh, I would say that getting the uh, ultra instant... Uh, ultra mild instant curry... It's kind of rare. It's not really a common drop. You're, mo you're mostly going to see... People... Who are... <laughs> who are um like these fridges right crazy let's let's do it okay let's see nope <laughs> this is where you would want to come though if you want to look for instant instant curry but i think like with dalsim you might just want to buy it i find all of his gift items are very rare I think I might die. <laughs> what? I used the super. <laughs> I'm going to die. How am I going to die? Well. Okay, Fooey. Ah, uh, darn it. Come on, instant curry. Uh, it's just not showing up. So yes, if you want to buy instant curry, luckily it's in the same place. But as you can see, it's just a bunch of these baddies keep on respawning. So the actual chances of getting a like a walking NPC carrying the curry, it's it's very hard. Not easy. Not as easy as some of the other locations that we've looked at. Okay, so let's just recap what we've covered with all of these masters so luke if you want red elevator eight you're going to want to be in nashal at night jamie same thing you can find him at night in nashal by your hangout or on that one street north of chinatown manon can't find beaujolais in the overworld you're going to have to purchase items to satisfy her or give her the generic items that might be wise um kimberly that one little area in the lowlands commerce area this is where you're gonna find her specific gift item also she really likes gum so not not everyone on the roster enjoys gum so she'll take gum easily too marissa west bay promenade during the night cold tomato soup that's where you're gonna find her um west bay promenade during the day you're also gonna get celery chips for lily oh i i do believe that we missed out on one other location also pertaining to celery chips and lukewarm beer Yes, some of these characters, they just give you so many of the gifts. You don't need to worry about grinding because you should be getting it if you're battling everyone that you see. I think that's a fun way of playing the game. Battle absolutely everyone. But in this little area here, you will also find celery chips and lots of gift items generic gift items so there's a couple of like places that you really want to tailor your experience for grinding in this game oh wow this guy wants to attack me 
Surprising. Oh, here we go. Celery chips, lukewarm beer, all from one guy. So, yes, just run around. You'll find celery chips here. Uh, let's go back to the status. So, so far, you have to buy stuff for Manon. You can acquire things for Lily. JP, that one street north of Chinatown, that will give you the antique playing cards. West Bay Promenade during the day, that'll give you Jury's Wrench. Lukewarm beer for DJ, practically everywhere. It's in Brazil. It's in Nashal. It's in Metro City. There is one other place we didn't cover. And I think it's um, useful if you are looking for dyes and other things of that nature. Urban Park. So the area behind the factory during the daytime, you can get all of the dyes. Also canned herring, lukewarm beer from uh, right before the area where you do the basketball minigame. Oh yeah, that's another thing that we could talk about here. Mini games are a way of acquiring lots of coin in the game. But honestly, I never utilized any of the mini games to raise my currency. Uh, I, I generally did not have a need to grind for currency. Mainly because fighting all these people will give you the stuff for free, so why not just do that? So yes, um, here you can find dyes, but if you're lucky, kind of a rarer drop. You will find people here with gift items. So lukewarm beer. Let's see if we can find a canned herring. This is where the scrounger really comes in handy, that particular skill, because you'll be able to find more um, NPCs. And once again, same strategy, run out, run back. Hopefully you can find some other NPCs with other rewards. Very cool. But yeah, I think um, getting all of this stuff for free, yeah, uh, Cami, Brazil... You can find her canned, uh, no, her jellied eel from one of Blanca's students. Reuse instant soba. You can find that at West Bay Promenade at night. E Honda, you're going to have to purchase that. Rubber duckies from Russia. You can't really find that in the overworld. Blanca, he appears a couple of places in Nashal during the day, during the night. Um, Guile, Nato, the commerce area of the lowlands of Nashal during day. Uh, Ken's cookbook, the, the little place, the little alley right before um, the pier to the island in Nashal. Chun Li, canned herring, you can get that in Brazil. Zangief, you can get his wooden bear from Mexico and Dalsim. Uh, you know, unfortunately, we could not find anyone dropping instant curry. You can get it to drop, but it is pretty rare. And I would suspect that's probably the situation with Beaujolais and rubber duckies because I have not been able to find where these drop consistently in the overworld. But all of the other masters, you can find their gifts in the world as random drops as you saw which is pretty cool you can get all of these uh bond items without ever having to spend any coin you just need to be able to fight and win and satisfy the battle conditions and yeah that's how you get costume number two for free is it the quickest I mean, uh, I think it's the wisest because you are not only getting the items for free, but you are also working on the style XP and your profile XP. Definitely the hardest grind in the game is getting to max level, level 100. So getting the bond stuff, getting the gift items is just something to um, experience along the way. I don't think you really need to go out of your way to get that stuff. But if you are pressed for time and you want the costume number two really quickly, at least you know how to get the items very easily for free.
Yes, for free. One thing that we did not touch on are the unique gift items that you can give every single master. For instance, Strawberry Fight 6. Luke enjoys this. Or vintage earbuds that you can give to Kimberly. But these items, you don't need them in order to max out the bond affinity like this cami kitty keychain you can give it to cami and it will give you an instant plus 40 in bond affinity however in order to acquire these things you must reach level 19 with the various masters to unlock their final mission which will then give you a special special one-time gift item to give another master. Another example would be the citrus perfume. Let's see, where is that? Uh, I'm looking, oh yeah, here we go, citrus perfume. So this is quite an odd item for me because Chun-Li is one of the earliest masters that you encounter in the game. And you could give her citrus perfume. Which would increase her bond affinity by 40. However. You can only acquire citrus perfume. By reaching level 19 with the jury. So jury is one of the more late game masters. That you unlock in the game. And you only get citrus perfume from her. So, by the time you get Citrus Perfume, you've probably already maxed out your Bond affinity with Chun-Li. So, you don't need to use these items. I'm a hoarder. I keep everything. These masters don't need Strawberry Fight 6. I do. I need it. So yeah, but if you do get these and you want to give them away, definitely give them away. The first one that you will come across is Classy Confectionaries, which is part of Retsu's submission. Give it to Ryu and Ryu gets a plus 40 in Bond. But I would rather keep it. But yes, a very, very intriguing. Hopefully you have found this helpful. I would love to know from you if you are fully maxed out on all of your bond affinities for the various masters. I can't wait till they add Rashid July 24th so that I can get his fancy gift. Uh, yeah, I would love to know. Are you getting the gifts for Rashid as well? LOL. Um, but also, a greater call for more knowledge on this topic, I think, is where to find Beaujolais rubber duckies more consistently. I know that you can come across Dalsim's instant curry, but it's really a hard drop, and I, you know, maybe just go buy it. But maybe I've overlooked something. Maybe there's an easier place to find Dalsim's curry, um, Manon's champagne. Let me know. <laughs> Please do leave a comment. But yes, this is all gleaned from my 100 plus hours of thoroughly exploring the world of Street Fighter 6. Hopefully you find this helpful in unlocking costume number two for yourself. Let's see what you guys are saying. Thank you for joining. Brian, how are you doing? Enjoy your Street Fighter 6, your friend, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Love you, brother. Giorno, hey, Dave. So I ended up buying Street Fighter 6. Thought that since MK is not even out, I'd just buy it on release. You know what? That's my same MO. I am enjoying Street Fighter 6. Until MK1 gets here, I am very much hyped to play MK1. I hope that there is a conquest mode that's even more immersive than world tour of street fighter 6 but um yeah we can only hope i have a small budget for games <laughs> i try to only purchase the games that i know that i'm going to play street fighter 6 and mk1 fit that description very well
Um, but yes, if you're here at this part, God bless you. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Uh, likes, comments, subscribes, they all really help out. If you enjoy what we do here, please consider joining the Jaded Bunny family. You get access to my secret number one strategies for MK11, my infinite time crystal glitch. All of my secrets are yours. Please do consider joining. Uh, but much love to all of my brothers and sisters. John Lee, John Clark, Danny Slaw, Energizer, Pro Gamer, J4, Among Us Gamer, Kenneth, GCXBU Gaming, Cara D, Kokuma Joe, AG Miller, Coffee Gamer, Lucy Little Thunder, Boots Alexander, Jonah, Eric, Glowy, Blood Ferox, Chaka Corn, Ari, Michael K, Darkside, Drokar, Ghoul, Mark Danny, O Gamer, Michael G, Swishfish, Ilkid, Snoopy Blind, FGC, Albus Christus Mortis, Yuri, Erdem, Calum, JJ, Dr. Eggman, Alina, Asynonix85, Alan, Cider M, Ragnar, and chaos. Yes, love you all, my brothers and sisters. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I have tried to share with you how to acquire all of these gift items for free. Please do so. Go get your costumes number two for your various fighters. Um, uh, Giorno, have you seen Smoke's new design? I liked his long hair, but I like the new design. Cool. I, you know, I, I'm just happy he's there. <laughs> Let's, I'm just happy he's there. Where's Jade? Give me Jade, please. But yes, um, thank you, thank you, thank you once again for joining along. God bless you indeed. I'm praying for all of you to be getting easy wins. But until next time, please stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Bye, my friends. Take care. Peace. Love you guys.